What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. Now before I get into today's content, I just want to say I was gone for a minute, but I'm back with the jump off, okay? Because I got a strike on my channel. YouTube gave me a strike for some video from two years ago. And I'm like, what? And that video wasn't even strike worthy. But you know what? It happened. It is what it is. I'm moving forward. I'm going to be posting like I never left. It is what it is. You cannot cry over spilled milk because guess what? It's not going to get back in your cup. So all I can do right now is just move forward. That's it. But I was posted on my TikTok and I kept on looking up stories to come, you know, to talk to you guys about when I did come back, when they decided to let me post again. So um, we're going to jump it off with Miss Kayla Hodgson. She was 23 years old. Some articles said she was a bartender and some saying she was a waitress, but neither, whatever her profession was, it does not matter because someone has taken her life and I think that's really insane, all right? Her co-workers had nothing but great things to say about her. She was really sweet. She was a life of the party. You know, she always had kind words for others. She was just a beautiful person inside and out. She was really beautiful. And she's young, 23 years old. Like, come on, why would you, you know what I'm saying? Why would you do this to this young lady? Her family is hurting. They want answers. Because guess what? No arrest has been made. All right? And they, she was found in her apartment dead. Now, the police will not put out the nature of how they found her or what caused her death just yet. You know, you know, the police, they're going to always give you the minimum, the minimal of information. So right now, all we have is what's out there. But I think they have someone in mind. And I think they are really going into a deep investigation on this. But the only thing we can do is just wait. So I'm just going to give you what some of these articles are saying at this point. It's just really sad. Like, come on. Is there some type of attack on women? Because this is like, it was a DJ, okay, domestic violence. And then another Jacksonville woman was found dead in the pond, San Marco Ponds, not too long ago. And she had two children, two boys, one and three. But they did catch the person that did that to her. They did arrest him. But my thing is, why? If something is going on between you two and you don't like it, walk away. What sense does it make for you to murder somebody? I just don't understand that. Because your life's going to be taken as well. You're going to jail for the rest of yours. And while her family is out here mourning for hers. It's just really insane to me. I would never understand why somebody would want to do that to someone. You know? She was found in her apartment on July 13th. No arrest has been made so far in this case. All right. Kayla's family is devastating and they are searching for answers and as they should. Now, her, a friend of hers that's only being identified name as Brianna, she said that, you know, she was a bright and beautiful person. She was everybody's hype man, and her life was gone way too soon. Now, the Broward County Sheriff's Office announced it was investigating the homicide, but the nature in which Kayla was killed is currently being withheld. Now, now the Sheriff's Office confirmed, you know, they have they were yet to make an arrest. The unknown is driving us crazy, said Rihanna. We don't know who did this. We don't know why they did this. We are just praying for justice. Now, Kayla's loved one have launched a GoFundMe campaign to help raise money to cover the funeral expenses after the young woman passed away unexpectedly due to someone taking her life away from us. On the campaign page, friends and family describe the victim as an amazing daughter, a loved one, an adored big sister, niece, granddaughter, and cousin whose bond was like no other. Everyone loved her tremendously, and she was a friend to all. Kayla made an impression with her compassion, humbleness, and loyalty, and that was written by the family. Kayla's death investigation remains ongoing. 
Anyone with any information on this case is urged to contact the detective at 954-321-4200 or Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. Anonymous tips can also be submitted or as well. Now, a $5,000 reward is being offered for information that leads to an arrest. And like I said before, the sheriff's office confirmed the investigation remain ongoing. And I really do hope they find the person responsible for her death. I, I really do. I really do hope they find the person responsible for her death. Beautiful young woman, 23 years old, very young. Okay, she still had a lot to live for. I'm pretty sure she had things she wanted to, you know, accomplish in life. And for someone to do this to her. Now, what I want to know is... Sometimes, well, apartment complex is supposed to have cameras. So they got to see something. Okay, they have to see something, you know, on the cameras. And I'm pretty sure the police know more than what we know. But just putting out just a little bit of information at a time. So hopefully by next week or hopefully by the end of this week, we should have an update on what happened to Miss Kayla Hodgson. Who, how, you know... Why would someone do this to her? Now, if any of her friends that work with her or her, you know, current current coworkers have worked with her, did anyone notice anybody stalking her or always asking for her or always being, you know, around her? Does she have any issues with an ex boyfriend or a current boyfriend? You know, these are things that you should look into, and I'm pretty sure the police are looking into that as well as phone records. Did she receive any type of nasty um text messages or anything like that who was she talking to you know it's, it's just so much that can go to into play with this so i just hope and pray that they find the person responsible for her death okay and the family gets their justice it's not gonna bring her back and i know how it feels to have a family member murdered you know and you want answers, but you're not getting any. I know how that feels. Trust and believe. But all the, the only thing you can do is just wait for the police to update. Because I believe the police, the police know more than what we know. And the police are going to know more than what the family know. Because sometimes they don't tell the family members everything. Because they don't want stuff posted on social media. Because once you post something on social media, it can taint the whole case. It can make the whole case crumble so that's why police officers detectives keep information from the families where they don't want it spread out there like wildfire and then it comes back that that part of that information is not true and it can dismiss the whole case so just hang in there and I'm, I'm praying for her family hoping that you know something happens somebody get get arrested you know the the person that did this is not smart at all because they eventually they will get caught you're not going to get away with murder you're just not. You may think you are, but you're not going to get away with murder. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys at the moment. I got to get ready for work. Oh, man. It feels good to be back. But, you know, I'm not sure how often I'm going to be posting on YouTube with they mess. But I'm going to go through my videos and see if there's anything else that they think they can strike me on. And I'm just going to remove it and go on about my business. And that'll be that. So, you guys, thank you for always um, supporting my channel. I do appreciate it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.